Welcome back everybody to my DVD update. Um, it's been a long time since I've actually done one of these videos, so it's time to get back in and try to do these videos some more. Um, it's probably been a few months since I've actually started one of these, so uh, I'm actually going to go back and just uh, talk about a few of the movies that I've got in the past couple weeks, what I got for Christmas and stuff like that. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the first one I'm going to talk about here is one that I got, is uh, a Doctor Who DVD. Now, this one here is uh, from the first Doctor. This is from... Uh, story number it's story number 13 and it is still a black and white episode i have not watched this yet but i am a huge doctor who fan the show is fantastic i've been watching it ever since 2005 reboot uh up through the you know the sixth series that's been uh, airing this past year and uh i've been trying to go back and watch all the original doctor who stuff all the stuff from the 60s 70s 80s and uh this right here is from the first doctor this is called the web planet and it's story number 13 i can't wait to check this out uh, and also, for Christmas, I got the Doctor Who, the movie special edition. This is the ninth Doctor. It was the only He's the only person to ever played the, the ninth Doctor, and it's uh, Paul McGann. And this was for just one movie, one special, and um, that's all it is. It's just Doctor Who, the movie, the special edition DVD. And I've actually seen this before, and it's just really, really good. So I, I thought, it was, thought it was time to buy the DVD of it, and, you know, can't wait to watch it again sometime. Uh, another one that I got for Christmas is... Um, this is the Munsters, the complete series. This is season one, season two, and two feature-length movies. Uh, this is actually comes in like a set that has all of uh, the like season one with all the discs in it, and the same for season two. And they just put it in together as one complete set. Um, I upgraded the two DVDs that I had of the movies and got them all in the set here. This is a great gift. I love the Munsters, and I can't wh wait to actually go through and watch the entire series. Uh, back to back to back uh, instead of just catching them on TV from time to time. Uh, next one that I got, now this movie is fantastic. I was I heard so much about it and it took forever for this thing to come out, but it is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Now, the uh, one of the stars in this is Tyler LeBain, and I love him as an actor. He is hilarious in everything he's done. He did Reaper, Invasion, uh, and a few other things that I really like. And um, So Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, it follows about two hillbillies that go out to the woods to uh, rent like a vacation home and a bunch of college students go out to camping around the same area and they mistaken the rednecks for serial killers and they actually are trying to convince themselves that they are trying to kill them but accidentally dying themselves and making it look like they are killing the, like they are being killed by these rednecks and it's it's a hilarious movie uh, it was it's a genius idea behind it and the the execution of this movie is is hilarious and well done great story great comedy and if you guys have not uh, been able to check this out definitely go to Walmart pick up the DVD or Blu-ray this is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil starring Tyler Labine you definitely gotta check it out it's hilarious uh, something else that I just recently ordered offline um, uh, I know a lot of people aren't fans of this film but I actually really like cheesy slasher films from the 80s. And this comes from uh, 1981, I believe. Uh, and it is Final Exam. This is the uh, re-release of it on DVD. It's a special edition that includes an uh, audio commentary, uh, uh, interviews with cast and crew. And uh, it's one of the uh, Katrina's Nightmare Theater collections. And I ordered this from uh, Amazon from the company Movie Mars for fairly cheap. And I uh, got it pretty quickly too. So um, that's Final Exam. Love eight cheesy 80s slasher films. Um, on that same order from Amazon, I actually, uh, one of my favorite uh, horror films, well, cheesy horror films from the 80s, um, is Prom Night 3. Now, a lot of people think it's really cheesy, really stupid, and uh, not worth watching, but uh, if, you, if you look at it from Part 2 and up, Part 2 and Part 3 kind of go hand in hand. Even though they're a little bit different, they are still in the same level of cheesiness, and I, I love both of them. And Part 3, I, I think I like a little bit more. It's definitely way out there and very cheesy and over the top. And I like it for that reason. It's more like a comedy than it is a horror film, but played out like a horror film. And uh, it also come with uh, Prom Night 4, which I'm not a fan at all. I, I do not like Prom Night 4. It's extremely boring. It does not make sense to fit with the Prom Night series. Uh, I think the only thing that has that Prom Night 4 has to do with Prom Night is that it falls on the same day of Prom. Um, so let's get into some, some Blu-rays here. Um, I picked up from Synapse at uh, the Horror Hound convention I went to uh, this past uh, uh, November, and it was Intruder. Now, for this to be uh, a movie that looks like it was shot on video, a matter of fact, it might have been shot on video, I'm not sure, but um, the quality of this was fantastic. 
The Blu-ray of Intruder is amazing from Synapse. They did an excellent job. I definitely want to see more films put out from Synapse, especially, um, you know, early horror films like this. This was great. I love watching the movie. It was the first time I'd seen it. It was actually a pretty, pretty interesting uh, uh, slasher film. And I really liked it. So uh, if you guys get a chance, head over to Synapse.com and check out uh, Intruder. Um, another one I picked up I had never seen before, but I thought the uh, DVD was fairly cheap, or the, excuse me, the Blu-ray was fairly cheap, so I figured I would pick it up and give it a chance. And it is the Horror Express. And I actually uh, flipped through this, um, on not actually watching the movie, but just kind of skipped through to see how it was. And the quality of this, surprisingly, is really good. Um, I was expecting it to be, you know... Uh, really like rip VHS quality because it's such an older film, but they did a fantastic job of putting this together and um, and going through and making it look like a really really well done HD version of it. And this is probably the best version this movie has ever been released in. Uh, the next one I picked up, I tried to get the entire set, but the FYE that I was at uh, only had three out of the set, and there's four in the series. Uh, that's the Alien films, so I picked up the Alien Blu-ray, the Alien Three Blu-ray. And Alien Resurrection Blu-ray. They did not have Alien uh, Aliens, which is the second film, uh, which is one of the, it's probably the best one of the entire series besides the first one. And uh, I've, I have not seen any of those four films, and I wanted to definitely check them out before the new Alien Prometheus um, trailer comes or uh, movie comes out. And I've, I've heard decent things about the first two. I've heard decent things about the third one, but the fourth one everybody tells me is not good at all, and not even take my time to watch it. But before that new movie comes out, I'm definitely going to go through and watch all four of those films. I do have the second one on DVD, but I kind of want to wait until I get them all on Blu-ray to go through and watch a full Blu-ray marathon of all four of them. I also have the Alien vs. Predator uh, 1 and Alien vs. Predator Requiem, but I don't really consider that part of the franchise, even though I do put them together on my shelves. But um, That was my DVD Blu-ray update for... Uh, for this first of the year of 2012 and definitely hope to have a lot more so let me know, let me guys know uh if you if you like these videos if you want me to do more dvd updates you know blu-ray updates vhs updates i still buy vhs so uh definitely let me know uh, what you think about this video and see you guys later